genetics and genomics, now those two words sound a lot alike. I need to explain the difference. It's really important. Genetics. What is genetics? Genetics is looking at the genes and the chromosomes and all of the things that make up our cells. So genetics is then looking at what we inherit. Genomics, similar sounding word, will then look at the gene makeup of an individual actual tumor. Now the whole question of genetics has been all over the media recently because of Angelina Jolie. She had a family history of her mother having ovarian cancer, her mother's sister having breast cancer, and this raised the red flag that, wait a minute, maybe there is an inherited gene abnormality that has come down through the generations of the family. And so the gene testing is usually done by drawing blood, or it can be done by a swab inside the mouth. And then the genes are processed and looking for right now, the key abnormalities we're looking for are what are called BRCA1 and BRCA2. On the other hand, genomics is looking at the actual profile of the genes in the tumor itself. A good example of this is the Oncotype DX analysis that we do on estrogen receptor positive breast cancers that this particular test looks at a pattern of 21 genes. How they're being expressed is a way of predicting whether a patient is going to benefit, yes or no, from chemotherapy. Um, now with in situ breast cancer, are they going to benefit from radiation therapy? And then importantly, what are the chances of the cancer coming back over the next 10 years? So it's very important that you understand the difference between genetics, what you inherited, and genomics, what it's become. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.